Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Buffalo, New York for the Buffalo Short Track Championships. Let's get right into the racing action here. Taking things off here in the afternoon with the Heartland Ladies. 1,000 meter semifinal heats. First heat, we've got Cameron Loot, Una Wilhoyt, and Claire Liu. Taking the top finisher and the next two fastest out of three heats. And Lute leading the way with Liu in second, Will Hoyt in third. This is a nine lap race. Works out perfectly with the 111 meter track. All three skaters still relatively close together here. Just kind of waiting for Cameron Lute to fire off the front. Make sure she guarantees that qualifying spot through. And now she's starting to pull away as Liu loses contact. And the top finisher in the next two fastest will move on into the A final. I want to move into the A final so you can get top points. Not only for the standings in this meet, but for the Heartland meets to continue in this season. And one lap to go as Lute comfortably a full straightaway ahead of Liu. And Will Hoyt about a straightaway behind. Oh, Lute moving on, Liu on the bubble. And Will Hoyt going to see what final she falls into based on finishing time. In heat number two, we've got Shreya Arun, Catherine Liu, Sarah Covella, and Mara Zimmer. Again, top spot guaranteed to move on. Coming, I'd say, in this heat, smart money goes on Shreya Arun to see if somebody can give her a run for her money for the A final. Pretty tame off the start. Arun leading the way with Liu in second in. Trying to come around into third was Zimmer. Now Covella in third. Liu now the leader. Let's see how long this group stays together. And tempo is starting to build here. As Liu able to eliminate two skaters off the back, only Arun 
able to stick with her. And Zimmer moves up on the inside of Cravella into third, and there goes Arun around Liu. Liu having to respond to Arun's move. And only the top spot guaranteed to move on. Liu in a good position here to advance based on time with one lap to go. But you don't want to leave anything to the chance. You'd rather be in that guaranteed qualifying spot. And at the finish will be Arun and Liu as your one-two. In the third and final heat for the Heartland Ladies, we've got Cuban O, Catherine Vandergriff, Carly Elliott, and Isabel Crovella. Now, if this heat was able to go out quickly, you could have three skaters advance on potentially. You should have a rough idea of what the other heats did, but that time set by Catherine Liu in that last heat would definitely be something to contend with. And that's Elliot leading the way with O in second, Vandegriff in third, Covella in fourth. O up into first. Vandegriff trying to follow through as she moves up into second. Doesn't want Cuban to get too far away from her. It's her best asset to have her to pull her along. Try to save a little bit of energy and make sure you have somebody to pace yourself with for one of those top times. Not going all out, though. And O oh, starting to build the pace, trying to get away from Vandergriff. Vandergriff able to maintain contact in that slipstream. She knows she has a chance here to move through based on time, so she's going to have to give a little bit more energy just to make sure she gets into that A final and guarantees herself The higher point values. One lap to go, and Vandergriff still on the tail of O. Here they come through the final corner as they come to the line, and it'll be O and Vandergriff. O definitely going to move on. Vandergriff, a very good chance of advancing that A final. Finishing in third was Elliott, in fourth was Crovella. Up next is the Heartland men's event, number 30, the 1,000-meter semifinals. Running five heats here. In this first heat, we have Andrew Kim, Clayton DeClement, Julian Kyle McCurig, George Wheelock, and Ryan Hack.
It's going to be D. Clement leading off the start. McKeerig in second. In third is Hack. Currently sitting in fourth is Kim. And in fifth is Wheelock. I wonder where the move's going to come from here. Only one spot available to move on. There's nothing awarded for second place or a, or a sixth fastest time. Move coming from McCurry Gets slammed shut by De Clement. And McCurry and Hack touch blades. And they bump again going to that corner and coming from the Fourth spot was Kim up into the lead. One lap to go. Kim in qualifying position. And Hack and McCurry bump for a third time. So it was Kim, DeClement, Hack, McCurry. Here comes Wheelock in fifth. I got to see if the judges rule anything here. Involving McCurry. Or hack. I think they're definitely going to have a discussion here at center ice. Could possibly see six on the line in the men's A final. In heat number two, we have Sungmin Kwan, Joseph Hatcham, Xavier Lawrence, Eric Laporte, and Daniel Yoon. 160, 165, penalized for impeding. And Hack gets penalized for impeding. Well, they didn't say that they advanced McCurig, so McCurig might. Still miss out on the A final. It's going to be Hatcham leading the way, and he wants to get away from the group. He wants to force them to race his race. And by getting out in front, puts himself in a little bit of a safer spot. Quan currently in second, and Skater goes down. That's Xavier Lawrence. Able to get back on his feet. Hatcham still away from Quan. Trying to catch Quan is Yoon. And Quan still with a couple of meters to close down the gap. And he finally makes the catch on Hatcham. He's thinking about going around him. Kwan, your new leader. And Hatcham not able to respond. I think he used the only card he had to play early, which was trying to get out in front and expend the energy early. And with one lap to go, Kwan still pulling away from Hatcham. 
as Quan crosses the finish line in first. There's Hatcham. Here comes Yoon in third. Laporte will finish in fourth, and Lawrence still with a lap to go. After going down. Oh, in heat number three for the Heartland men, we've got Christian Kim, Nathaniel Casson, Hera Hansen, Matthew Cravella, and Carl Tatelli. And it looks like it's going to be Carl Tatelli leading the way out of the first corner and a blade touch on the far side. Well, Tatelli, Crovella. There goes Kim on the inside up into second. Cassin up into third. And Hansen right now in fourth after going by Crovella. And Hansen goes through on the inside, up into first. Kim still in second. Casson in third to Telly, down to fourth. Hansen building the tempo, trying to dislodge a couple more. And now Kim going to go through on the inside. And Casson not wanting to miss. The move gets on the inside of Hanson up into second. Patelli trying to follow suit. Hanson blocks it off. Yet only one spot available. Casson with a tough task. He's got to get around Kim. Has only got one lap to go to do it. Kim knows Casson's there. Here they come up to the home stretch, and Kim will take it by about three feet on Casson. Up next is heat number four with... Roan Real, Richard Anglin, Raphael Howe, Alex Gutowski, and Jersey Hitler. It's going to be a quicker start here for heat number three. Or sorry, heat four as Howe pushes the tempo early. Anglin in second in third. Is real. 
Sutovsky in fourth and off the back in fifth is Hitler. And how with a little bit of slip that leaves the inside open as England goes through. See if England tries to push it here. Reel right onto his tail though. And Slutovsky able to come through and hitch on for third. And Skutovsky with the inside move on Reel. Moves up into second. With one lap to go, Skutovsky trying to go around the outside. Reel trying to force him wide. They bumps with Skutovsky. There goes Reel on the inside. Skutovsky goes on the outside. Here they come to the line. And who's going to have more speed? And I think it might have been Skutovsky by a hair. Great adjustment by Sklutovsky, got blocked and bumped. Was able to keep his speed up, took the wide line through the corner, had more speed coming in the finishing straight. Up next, the fifth and final heat for the Heartland men with Justin Liu, Michael Koenig, Matthew Yen, Henry Middlebrook, and Tim Van Fleet. Last spot up for grabs. It's going to be Liu leading the way. Yen in second, Koenig in third. Middlebrook in fourth, Van Fleet in fifth. Let's see how this group shakes out. No movement in the pack yet. Everybody's still tightly together. And Koenig now going to try to go around the outside and trying to follow his middle brook. Leo responding with acceleration, but Koenig able to get around into first. It's Koenig and Liu. Middle brook looking to try to go up on the inside, gets through into third. And he missed the move by Koenig. Now there's a gap to Koenig and Liu ahead of Middlebrook. And Liu with the inside move on Koenig. And with one lap to go, Koenig now has a gap to try to chase down that might be too far for one lap. As Liu will advance on to the A final. Koenig finishes second. Middlebrook finishes third. Yen finishes fourth. Van Fleet fifth. I'll bring up the novice ladies flying one lapper. Taking all six into the final. This group have got Lucas Lee, Milo Ventura, Crystal Wu, Serena Ventura, Fiona Chen, and Flicka Chen.
And they're off as Milo Ventura takes the lead in second is Lucas Lee. In third is Crystal Wu. In fourth is Serena Ventura. Milo trying to keep his footing through the final corner onto the home stretch. And he'll finish first. Lucas Lee in second. Crystal Wu third. Serena Ventura fourth. Fiona Chen fifth, and Flicka Chen finishes in sixth. Up next, the junior F ladies. 1-1-1 one, one, one semifinal heat. Taking all five. Got Olympia Kazaneka, Ariel Chun, Isabella Chen, Quinn Ronan, and Madeline Coons. Looks like some confusion on the start line. We'll see if referees can get it figured out. And Kazaneka jumps out in front. Chun in second. In third is Chen. And Kazaneka comes across with plenty of insurance. And I think the, the youngsters thought it was to two lap race because they kept going after their first lap while they were waiting for the final skater to cross the line. Love the enthusiasm, though. That'll bring up the junior F men. 101 semifinal heats with Alan Wu, Jonathan Wu. Matthew Lorenz, Gabriel Relata, and Frank Stump. It's Allen leading the way. In second is Lorenz. In third is Jonathan. And Jonathan making a dig for the line, but he'll finish in third behind Lorenz. Finishing fourth was Stump, and fifth was Rolada. That'll bring up. Heat number two with Lucas Wu, Ethan Lin, David Pravad, Jonathan T. Wu, and Joel Kittredge taking the top finisher in the next three fastest into the A final. A 
Knights. Wu in the lead in second is Lin in third is Pravad. Pravad gonna have to protect this position here as charging from behind was Jonathan Wu. But Pravad holds on to third, I think, at the line. That'll bring up the Junior E ladies. 2-2-2 two, two, two semifinal heats. And heat number one, we have Cindy Jang, Serena Sheen, Zeta Gretzkowski, Sophia Coons, and Lizelle Noob. Cindy Jang going to jump in the lead. Sheen in second. In third, I believe, is Gretzkowski. One lap to go. In fourth is Coons, and in fifth is Noob. Here they come up to the finish. As Jang will move on, and Sheen giving herself a pretty good chance to qualify. Bring up heat number two with Audrey Lengkong, Selena Sue, Lauren Lee, and Addison Hartman. a long hold by the starter. Lin Kong in the lead. Sue in second. Again, top finisher in the next three fastest will move on to the A final. One lap to go. Hartman right now in third battling with Lee. And Hartman and Lee coming to the line, and Lee gets Hartman on the line. Up next, the Junior E men, 2-2-2 two, two, two semifinal heats. In heat number one, we have Benjamin Sullivan, Benjamin Ebel, David Chun, Owen Rogers, and Shane Miller. And a false start here for the Junior E men. They'll come back in the lineup for a second try.
It's a clean start the second time around. Sullivan in the lead. Ebel in second place, taking the top, finishing the next two fasts to move on. One lap to go. Currently in third is Chun. Sullivan coming around the final corner. As he'll definitely qualify. Ebel giving himself a good chance. Rogers finishing in fourth. Miller finishing in fifth. Junior event, event 35. Two, two, two meters, 75 though, heat two. 134, Michael Borka. We'll bring up heat number two with Michael Borka, Aiden Liu, Riley Lindsay, and John Paul Manning. And a false start called by the secondary starter. They bring them back to the line. And actually, this might not be a false start. This might be a uh, question they need to talk to the official the officials about before getting this next race underway. I'd love to have a microphone down on the head referee, but sadly don't have the technology and don't think they'd appreciate that too much. And still not sure what the issue is going on here. Not sure if this is an issue with this race or something with the last race that they wanted to go over. Well, they're still discussing it over at the officials' box. And they're going to let him go from the line again. I don't know what the ha what's happening here, folks. At least in hockey games, have a general idea, and there's hand signals they can read off of here. Not a very good lip reader on my part. 
It also doesn't help when they have their back turned, so you can't even begin to try to speculate. And finally, the second heat for the Junior E-Men's underway. Michael Borka jumping out into the lead. Aiden Liu. Blue place. Looking to try to chase him down. Has one lap to do it and has a lot of ground to cover. Lindsay, third place. Lindsay currently in third. And Liu charging hard against Borka. And they come to the line. I think Borka just holds on. Lindsay finishing in third, Manning finishing in fourth. In the third heat, we've got Arya Chanani, Samir Outchik, Christopher Kim, and Christopher Monahan.
looks like the officials are at it again. Really knew, wish I knew what they were discussing, reviewing. Just really have no idea. Everything seemed pretty open and shut as far as the results go.
Still not sure what they're talking about, folks, but we're finally ready to go on the third heat here for the Junior E-Men. Chanani in the lead. Uh, closely by Auchik. Kim in third, Monahan in fourth. And down goes Auchik. Chanani going to cross the line all by himself. Well out in front. Here comes Kim and Monahan. Monahan looking for the inside move. Here they come to the line. And oh, that was really close there for second place. Not sure who got it. Up next is the Junior D ladies. 144, Grace Chuck, 210, Emma Lippa, 44. In heat one, we have Grace Chun, Emma Lippa, Stella Summerfield, Cassandra Clark, and Francesca Mangano. Taking the top finisher in the next two fastest out of three heats. And Chun off the front in a hurry. Summerfield in second. In third is Lippa. In fourth is Clark. In fifth is Mangano. One lap to go for Chun. It's a battle for second right now as Summerfield able to block off Clark. Here they come through the final corner. As they dig for the line, and Summerfield will hang on for second. Clark will finish third, and Lippel will finish fourth. In heat number two here for the Junior D ladies, we've got Caroline Anderson, Salome Lokesh, Lily Davis, Meredith Coons, and Maya Shenkut. And I just got word, folks, we might have an explanation as to why they had so many stoppages. There's apparently there was an issue with the timing system during one of the Heartland men races. They might have to rerun the heat. Even though the, the results weren't based on time for the A final, they are based on time for the rest of the positions through the B through the D final. And leading the way here is Caroline Anderson in second is Lokesh. Anderson going to cross the line in a safely in qualifying position. Lokesh going to have to wait and see based on time. It looks like Davis finished third with Coons finishing fourth and Shenkut finishing in fifth. In heat number three, we've got 
Sydney Wong, Michelle Yi, Kate Huggins, Celine Muir, and Beth Manning. And Wong jumps out away with Yi. And only a top finisher guaranteed to move on, Yi. I'm going to try to make sure she advances through in the A final. Has a good shot at it here, though, being in the top two. One lap to go for Wong and Yi. As they come around the final corner. It'll be Wong and then Yi in third is Kate Huggins. Finishing fourth was Nuar and fifth was Manning. Up uh, next, folks, we have the Junior D-Men. Heat number one, Sean Shui, Peter Grossclose, Jerry Chan-Nani, Justin Liu, do Young Kim, and Daniel O'Brien. <laughs> Running three heats, taking the top finisher, the next two fastest to move on to the A-Final. Uh, here we go, folks. They're able to find the Junior D boys somewhere in the back locker room. Raphael Howell, 29, Alex Bukowski, 
and 137, Hit Run, Try Love. That is going to be after... As the junior D men, three 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 semifinal number one of three, taking the top finisher, the next two fastest. They move on in the A final. Leading the way is Gross Close in second. Is Shui in third? Is Chiannani one lap to go? Chiannani with a lot of ground to make up. Here they come to the finish as it'll be Gross Close and Shue. Gross Close guaranteed to move on. Shue giving herself a pretty good shot there based on time. Up next, heat number two with Julius Kazanecki, Lucas Koo, Ethan Lamb, Henry Lang, Charlie Putnam, and Ben Clendenning Kim. Lucas Koo jumping out in the early lead. Kazanecki in second. And that's Lamb in third. Kazanecki looking trying to get around into that top spot. Guarantee moving on. He goes for the inside move, able to force it through on Koo. They go into the final corner. And Kazanecki. Wins it at the line, Koo, second, Lamb, third. Junior D Ben. Event 37. That'll bring up Heat number three with Zubin Kumar, Sammy Hart Gorman, Quinn Lepkowski. Gabriel Hasselbeck, Caleb Truscott, and Jeremy Sapola.
Mark Gorman jumping out into the early lead. He's passed on the inside by Kumar. Along with Lepkowski. One lap to go, Kumar. Looking to move on to the A-final, Lepkowski. Too much ground to make up, might be able to move on here based on time, but he's got to hold off. Hart Gorman, which he does. And we're going to take a resurface break here. I'll be back in about five to ten minutes. And we may have a rerun of the Heartland men's fourth heat due to a timing system error. We'll be back shortly.
And welcome back, folks. So we're going to have a rerunning of the Heartland men's heat number four. And it looks like Rowan Real, who I believe won the heat, is not in the heat because he was advanced through because it was based on placement, not on time to get into the A final. So they're going to be rerunning this in order to determine who is seated in which finals. It's going to be Anglin that jumps out into the early lead. Hal in second. Slutowski in third. Hitler in fourth. And a unique opportunity here as had the skaters times not been good enough to move into the B final, you could snipe a B final spot here and get higher point values. And then that's what England's doing here is making sure he gets into that B final, trying to get as high of an opportunity for points or for the higher points as possible. Skutowski moving up into second. So Sklutovsky looks to be content sitting there in third. Trying to save a little bit more energy for the rest of today. And one lap to go for England. And Hitler moves up into third. Slutowski finishes in second. Now we'll get back on track here with the junior Sea Ladies. This will be the 1,000 meter semifinal heat. Number one with Kayla Gonzalez, Dorothy Hamilton, and Nicole Cho. So they're going to be taking all six of the Junior C ladies into the A final. Gonzalez, your new leader. Hamilton in second, Cho in third. And because all six of them will advance to the A final, I don't think we'll see too much drama in, this, in these two semifinals. They'll save their energy for where it matters most in the A final.
but not really much drama here. Cho with the pass on the inside of Hamilton. Again, all three will advance to the A final no matter what. So no need to expend energy unnecessarily here in the semifinal. Gonzalez on her final lap. As she comes up to the finish line. There's Cho, and there comes Hamilton. In heat number two, we have Penelope Romanelli, Mina Rose, and Sydney Coons. Again, don't expect too much drama here in the semifinal as they will all be in the A final. False start, they'll come back to the line. <laughs> they get away cleanly the second try around. Romanelli. Into the lead, Rose in second, Coons in third. And everybody settled in and comfortable again. Not too much happening here as they'll have all six of the Junior C ladies in the A final group. Coming up next, we have the Junior C men's 1,000 meter semifinals. And Romanelli here going to lap Coons. And Rose also going to lap Coons here. The way Romanelli is attacking this race, I wonder if she's trying to get a qualifying time. And she's not holding back here. It wouldn't be a bad time to get a qualifying time if you've got clear track and skate your lines that you want and not to worry about as many skaters and possibly getting tripped up or taken out. Junior C men, 
Heat number one coming up here with Aaron Liu, Rory O'Brien, and Logan Warmel. Taking the top finisher and the next two fastest to move on. Leo leading the way. O'Brien in second and Hormel in third. Looks like a little bit different of a heat here compared to the ladies. These boys having to finish in the top two to at least move on into the A final. First place guarantees it. Second place gives you a pretty good shot. And Leo trying to drop the pack. Ormel moving up into second. I'm surprised to see that. Marmel and O'Brien haven't picked up their tempo here. With a time advancement on the line, you'd expect them to attack this race a little bit harder here, even though there's only three of them, especially with Liu gone off the front. One lap to go. O'Brien now looking to go on the inside as he moves back into second place. Here they come to the finish, and it'll be O'Brien in second, Wormel in third, after Liu finished first. In heat number two, and we've got Nicholas Gutowski, Andrew Lenkong, Paulo Logerfo and Sammy Shenkut. Skutovsky going to lead through the first corner. Len Kong in second. Legerfo in third. And Shenkut in fourth. We'll see how much energy Skutovsky and Len Kong are willing to expend here. Trying to at least knock Logerfo off the rubber band. And now they're starting to drive the tempo a little bit more. I don't think they'll go 100%, but they're at least going to distance themselves. And they must know relatively what time they need to hit in order to make sure that they both qualify. As long as whoever comes in second finishes ahead of O'Brien's time, they'll definitely both move on. 
And Skutovsky now starting to pull away from Langkong. One lap to go. Skutovsky comfortably in qualifying position. Langkong. Going to have to see if his time is faster than O'Brien's. And just going off of the feel of that race, I believe he will move on. Well, Garifal finishes in third. I think Shen cuts on his final lap here. And I move on to heat number three with Sean Lippa, Eric Song, Sean Dixit, and Ryan Shane for the final guaranteed spot for the Junior C Men A final. And a false start here on heat number three. And they're going to take a little bit of a slower start here. And tactically... For the slower skaters, I think that's a mistake. You you would want to push the tempo here early, give yourself a good chance, and maybe even get a little bit of help by forcing the other skaters to pick up the pace and maybe drag you along just a, that little bit farther. Song currently in the lead. Lippa in second. Shane in third. Block kicked off the apex and actually hit around in their feet a couple of times. And this tempo feels a little bit slower than that last group. And Lippa going around the outside of Song, following behind with Shane. And now Shane going on the inside. Lippa slams the door on the corner, but Shane able to squeeze his way through into the lead. And then the apex block gets kicked again. That show slowed up Lippa just a little bit. One lap to go. Shane comfortably in qualifying position. Lippa hoping to have beaten at least one of the second place times and he would move on into the A final. I'll move on to the Junior B men and their 1,000 meter semifinal heat. I mean, Noah Trump, Clyde Gill, Joshua Yang, and Gavin Hall. All four moving on to the A final. I don't suspect they'll expend too much energy here in the semifinal. We'll save. Their best moves for the final. Fifty-two, yay! First, 
And Yang going to jump out in the lead here. Trop in second. Gill in third. Hall in fourth. Trop goes around into first. Hill goes into second. Or sorry, Gill goes into second. Trop and Gill settled in on the front. Let's see if they'll save any of their cards for the final. I imagine they will, and I imagine it'll come down to Trop and Gill. Gill tried to have Trop in the last final, but got caught behind in a split, had to expend too much energy to catch up to Trop, and just didn't have anything left. On the final stage of the race. Here, though, able to slip behind Trop. Has him marked the whole way, and Trop does not look to be dropping him. One lap to go. Let's see if Gill might put a statement here at the end of the race. Just let Trop know that he's hanging around. They come through the final corner. And Gill goes wide. Trop will finish first, Gill second. It'll be Yang finishing in third, and Hall will finish fourth. That'll move us on to the Master Senior Combined. And Heat 1 will have Mary Magnus, Melissa Koenig, Nicole Zayatz. Taking the top finisher in the next two fastest to move on. Master Senior Group first heat underway as Zayats and Magnus lock onto the back of Koenig. I think we'll see Magnus try to stay behind Kenny and Zayats until around two laps to go. Zayats moves on the inside into the lead. Kenny trying to turn over a little bit faster on the tempo. Keeps Zantz within reach. Magnus, though, comfortable there in third. And she builds and goes around the outside. Magnus up in the lead. And she separates herself from Koenig and Zayats. And one lap to go for Magnus Koenig. Going to have to move up at least one spot to have the chance to qualify into 
the A final. They'll come down to the final corner, see if the Corgi can build any speed. She's going to go on the inside as they dig for the line. Zayats will get the win with the longer leg throw in front of Koenig. Up next in heat number two, we have John Witkowski, Maddie Riesman, Elizabeth Savoy, and Patrick Nior. Reesman jumping out in the lead, trying to follow, is Witkowski. They're going to put Savoy and New York on the back foot. Reesman comfortably setting the tempo at Koski. Just needs to stick with her. And we'll move on into the A final. Reesman lapping Nior along with Witkowski. And Witkowski going to pass her on the inside. See if Reesman just lets him go. One lap to go. See you. With Koski, the new leader. And he comes around the final corner. Both him and Riesman should qualify into the A final. And Savoy at the finish line, sweating on Nior, who's on his final lap. And here he comes to the finish. I'll bring up the Master 60 plus with Joe Balbo, Karen Verone, and Gerald Savoy. All three moving on into the A final.
And Babel going to jump in the lead off the start. Savoy in second, Verone in third. See if Balbo can lead wire to wire here. It's already built up a good lead on Savoy and Verone, but you just never know if you might hit a soft patch of ice here, especially considering some of the falls we've had today. I said all three will move on into the A final. Wonder if Balbo's going out trying to get a qualifying time here, maybe for nationals to come in the new year. And Balbo here coming around to one lap to go. Has increased his lead to a full straightaway over Savoy and Verone. And Verone going to pass Savoy on the second to last straightaway as they come into the home stretch. And that'll do it for the semifinals today. I believe we will take an ice cut here. Everyone, we're going to have a five-minute ice cut. Ice cut will commence. So we'll take a short resurface break, and then we'll be back in about five to ten minutes for the second set of finals on the day. And then after those finals, we will call it a day here in Buffalo, and we'll be back tomorrow. We'll see you here shortly after the resurface.
Welcome back, folks. Ready for the Heartland Ladies Heartland A final with Cameron Lute, Cuban O, Shreya Arun, Catherine Vandergrift, and Catherine Liu. And getting bumped around there off the start. That I believe that was Cuban O. Managed to stay on the outside of the blocks, but just barely. Loot leading the way with Arun in second. Liu in third. Vandergrift in fourth. And there goes O on the outside. Gonz or Liu trying to block her off. And now the pack having to respond. Vandergrift trying to get on the back of the pack. Leo looking to go inside. Arun looking to try to go outside. They go too wide through the corner. And Loot back up into the lead. Arun trying to go around the outside. Manages to get around O. Leo looking to try to go on the inside of O. She gets by. Vandergrift gets on the inside of O. And they bump at the exit of the corner. Field splitting apart. Lute and Aru coming into one lap to go. As they go into the final corner, see if Aru can muster anything here towards the finish line. And Lute shuts it down, so it'll be Lute, Aru, Liu, Vandegriff, and O. Now for the ladies B final with Claire Liu, Una Wilhoyt, Carly Elliott, Carly Isabel Crovella, Maura Zimmer, and Sarah Crovella. And Catherine Liu gets penalized for impeding in that last race. So that'll move Vandergrift into third and o Cuban O into fourth. Oh and skater down on the far side. That might be... Will Hoyt need to wait to see for a helmet cover here. It was not Will Hoyt. It was Zimmer that went down. Currently leading the pack is Liu. And that might be Will Hoyt in second. It is currently in third. Is Carly Elliott. And now Will Hoyt taking over the lead from Liu. Liu trying to get back around on the outside. And she's able to get through back in the lead. Looking to distance herself from the rest of the field here. Coming around to one lap to go. 
And it's Liu Wilhoit Elliott. Followed by the two Crovella, or sorry, that's uh, Cro Sarah Crovella and Mar Zimmer. Up next, the Heartland men's finals in the A final. We've got Sung Min Kwan, Andrew Kim, Justin Liu, Christian Kim, and Rowan Real. And a blade touch in the opening straightaway, and down went Christian Kim. And he's lucky they called it interference and are bringing the race back. Otherwise, he would have been well out of contention. Get him lined up again for his second try here. It's going to be Justin Liu leading the way with Real in second. Kwan sitting in. Third with the Kim slotting in fourth and fifth. Liu, the odd man out in this race, as he's the only skater in this final, not from Potomac. And a move coming from the back by Andrew Kim. He's going to go around from fifth to first. And there goes Real with the inside move. Liu trying to block him off. Liu forced wide. And Christian Kim tries to go on the inside of Liu. Liu got a piece of him with the block. And there goes Liu on the inside of Real. Liu trying to make the upset here against four skaters out of Potomac. Trying to hold off the charge. Andrew Kim able to get in front of him. And some jostling for third and fourth, and down goes Liu. And you can feel the air get sucked out of the building with that gasp. So we Andrew Kim, Quan, and didn't see between Kim and Real who finished in third. Liu finishing in fifth after going down battling for a podium spot. <laughs> uh, 
That'll bring up the B final with Joseph Hatcham, Clayton DeClement, Julian Kyle McKeerig, Richard Anglin, and Michael Koenig. I think they might have something under review in that last race. It looked like Leo was by himself when he went down. Or maybe they saw something different there from center ice. Yeah, Liu was by himself in second place when he went down. So there's no interference there. But maybe one of the bumps coming earlier in the race where there were a few. 174 and 183 for MPD. Previous race. And two skaters penalized for impeding. Well, one of them was real. I think the other one was one of the Kims. Which would put Liu into third. The B final here for the Heartland men underway. Clayton DeClement leading the way. Hatcham in second, England in third. McCurry moving up from fourth to third. Koenig going from fifth to fourth around England. Let's see who makes the move first. It'll come in the next two laps here. And there it goes. McCurry on the inside of Hatcham. And now Candy looking to move up as he slots into third behind McCurry. Carey looking to try to get around in front of DeClement. And he goes wide and he touches blades with Koenig. Koenig able to keep his feet. One lap to go. And there goes Koenig. And he and McCary touch blades again. Koenig going around the outside. Finally gets around McCary. Here it comes to the finish line. And I think it'll be DeClement, McCary, Koenig. As Koenig forced to go wide and might have had a stripped edge there and couldn't really push it, exiting that final corner. We'll have to see if there'll be a call in that last race. They're definitely talking about it at center ice. Let's move on to the start list for the C final. We've got Henry Middlebrook, Matthew Yen, Nathaniel Casson, 
Daniel Yoon and Alice Gutowski. Let's see if there's a call here coming from the referees. And McCurry gets penalized for impeding. I think that, that'll move Koenig into second. That'll be Middlebrook leading the C final. First, Yen in second. Kassin in third. Yun in fourth. Lutowski in fifth. Three skaters out of UCB. And Middlebrook now starting to build the tempo. He doesn't want the move to get by him. Yen trying to line up on the outside. And he's going to go wide through the corner, see if he tries to set the pass. He goes wide in the far corner. And that actually allows Kassin up into second along with Yoon into third. Three UCB skaters leading the way. Middlebrook gets passed on the inside by Kasson. Still the three UCB skaters leading the way. Kasson trying to pull away from Middlebrook and Yoon. One lap to go. And he's not out of the woods yet. They're going to the final corner. Here they come to the line, and it'll be Kassin, Middlebrook, Yoon, Yen, and Skutovsky. That'll bring up the D final with Carl Tatelli, Eric Laporte, Tira Hansen, George Wheelock, and Raphael Howe. It looks like Jersey Hitler moved up into this group. Let me see who's a non-start here. Telly's here, Laporte's here, Hanson's here. I believe that's Wheelock. I think it might be Hal who's a no-show. It'll be Wheelock leading the way after the first corner. Tatelli in second. Hanson third. Laporte in fourth. And Hitler in fifth. See if Wheel Lock will lift the tempo here. Try to unhitch a couple of freeloaders. So far, the only one out of contact with the back of the group is Hitler. 
He's fighting to make it back. Tatelli goes through on the inside of Wheelock into second. Hansen and Wheelock bump, forces Wheelock wide. Hansen and Laporte move up a spot each. And it looked like Hansen ran into the back of Tatelli. Both able to stay on their feet. And Hansen puts a hands out, touches the backside of Tatelli again. One lap to go. Tatelli, Hansen, Laporte all very tight coming through the final corner. And it'll be Tatelli taking it at the line. Hansen second, Laporte third, Wheelock fourth, and Hitler finishing in fifth. Uh, next is the E final. So looks like Raphael Howe was moved down into the E final. We also have Tim Van Fleet, Matthew Gravella, Xavier Lawrence, and Ryan Hack. And a blade kick on the far side as. Hack was going around the outside. We'll have to see if they rule anything with that. As we'd seen a couple already that resulted in penalties. Hack comfortably in the lead. As Crovella in second, and Hal in third, Lawrence in fourth, and Van Fleet in fifth. Slip on the far side by Hack. It might be enough to open the door for Crovella and Howell, but there's the bell lap. And Hack able to maintain his composure as he comes through the final corner with plenty of time in the bank to take the win. Finishing in second was Crovella, in third was Howe. And we'll have to see if the heads of state have a little discussion about that race. Blade kick coming very early on. Up next, the novice combined A final in the 1 1 1 with Milo Ventura, Lucas Lee, Crystal Wu, Serena Ventura, Fiona Chen, and Flicka Chen.
And a false start called on the starter. I've said that before, but I don't know if I've ever heard them say it themselves. And it's Milo out into the lead. In second is Lee. In third is Wu. And in fourth is Serena. In fifth is Fiona. And in sixth is Flicka. And here they come to the line. As will be Milo, Third, number six, Crystal Wu. Lucas Lee, Crystal Wu, Serena Ventura, Fiona Chen, and Flicka Chen in that order. That'll bring up the Junior F ladies. 1-1-1-A final with Olympia Kazaneka, Ariel Chun, Isabella Chen, Madeline Coons, and Quinn Ronan. And Kazaneka leading the way. Chun in second. Now finish that way. Chen finishes third. Ronan finishes fourth. And Coons finishes fifth. That'll bring up the junior F men. Their 1-1-1 one, one, one finals, starting with the A final, they'll have Alan Wu, Lucas Wu, Matthew Lorenz, Ethan Lin, and Jonathan Wu. It's Alan Wu in lead. Lucas Wu in second. In third is Lorenz. In fourth is Lin. And in fifth is Jonathan. And they'll finish in that order. That'll bring up the B final with David Pravad. Jonathan T. Wu, Frank Stump, Gabriel Relata, and Joel Kittridge. And it's Pravad leading the way. Stump in second. And a charge coming from Jonathan Wu as he finishes second. So it's Pravad, Wu, Stump as your top three in the B final. That'll bring up the Junior E ladies 2-2-2 two, 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 A final with Cindy Jang, Audrey Lenkong, Selena Su, Serena Sheen, and Zeta Gretzkowski.
And it's Jang out into the lead. Leng Kong in second. One lap to go. With that, Selena Su moving up the field. It'll be Jang takes the top spot. Leng Kong second, Su third. Sheen fourth, Gretzkowski finishes in fifth. On to the B final. Junior E ladies. Event 48, 222 meter B final. We'll have Lauren Two Lee, Addison Four Hartman, eight. Sophia Coons, and Liza Noob. False start here. Lee leading the way. Coons in second. Hartman in third, Noob in fourth. There's the bell lap with one to go. Lee comfortably in the lead. Coons not out of trouble yet. He's got to hold off Hartman. As they come through the final corner. And Coons will finish second. Hartman will finish third. There's Noob in fourth. Up next is the Junior E Med. The 222A final with Michael Borka, Benjamin Sullivan, Arya Chandani, Aiden Liu, and Benjamin Ebel. Borka jumping out in the lead. Sullivan in second. One lap to go. And a pass on the inside goes Sullivan as he passed Borka. Here they come to the line. And it's Sullivan, Borka, and Liu as your top three. Up next is the B final with David Chun, Riley Lindsay, Christopher Kim, Christopher Monahan, and Owen Rogers. And Lindsay leading the way. In second is Chun. In third is Kim. Kim, third. 
And here they come to the line. Lindsey falling across the line. I'm not sure if he got it over Jun, depending on where his blade was. Let's take a quick look at the replay here and see where his blade ended up. You can fall across the finish line, but your blade needs to be the first thing to cross. And I think with where his blade ends up after he falls, it's behind him. So that'll be Chun. That takes the win. Even though his hand even though Lindsay's hands crossed the line first. Up next is the C final with Shane Miller, Samir Outchik, and John Paul Manning. And Outchick jumps in front in second is Manning. In third is Miller. Outchick just needs to stay on his feet. will stay away from Manning. And here they come up to the finish. It's be Outchick, Manning, and Miller in that order. Up next, we have the Junior D ladies 333A final with Grace Chun, Carolyn Anderson, Sydney Wong, Salome Lokesh, and Michelle Yi. Chun leading the way. In second is Wong. In third is Anderson. Anderson looking to go on the inside. One lap to go. Chun comfortably in the lead. Anderson looking to move up here as they come to the line. But it'll be Chun, Wong, Anderson with Lokesh finishing in fourth and Yi finishing in fifth. Junior D ladies, event 50, 333 meter B final. 44, Stella Summerfield, 146. Now for the B final with Stella Summerfield, Cassandra Clark, Emma Lippa, Kate Huggins, and Lily Davis. And Summerfield that jumps out into the lead. Davis in second. 99 second Davis. Two laps to go. Summerfield trying to hold off Davis. Lippa into third. And Lippa able to move up into second. Summerfield trying to hold her off. One more lap to go. And here comes Clark 
And she and Lippa bump. Here they come to the line. It'll be Summerfield, Lippa, Clark, Davis, and Huggins in that order. And now for the C final with Meredith Coons, Maya Shenkut, Celi Nior, Beth Manning, and Francesca Mangano. And Cassandra Clark gets penalized for impeding in the B final. That would move Davis up a spot and Huggins up a spot. And one skater goes inside the blocks, and that's Shenkut, who's off track. Leading the way is Nior in second is Mangano. In third is Coons. And Shenkut moves up into third, but went off track in the first corner. They're on the final lap. And they come through the final corner. Niar trying to get to the line first, and she will over Mangano, who will finish second. She uncut third across the line, as I said, I believe, off track in that first corner. She'll be penalized. Up next, we have the Junior D men. A final with Peter Gross Close, Julius Kazanecki, Zubin Kumar, Sean Shui, and Lucas Koo. Sorry, folks, lost the video there for a second. Hang on. Trying to readjust. We might have lost it here. Sorry, folks, had a video issue there. This is the Junior D Men's B Final with Ethan Lamb, Quinn Lepkowski, Sammy Hart Gorman, Cherig Chanani, and Gabriel Hasselback. Currently leading the way is Lamb in second, is Lepkowski in third, is Hart Gorman. Here they are on the final lap.
So they come up to the finish, and it'll be Lamb, Lepkowski, and Hart Gorman, followed by Chanani and Hasselback. Up uh, next, we have the C final with Justin Liu, Henry Lang, Charlie Putnam, Do Young Kim, and Caleb Truscott. Liu leading the way. That's Putnam in second. In third is Lang in fourth. I believe it's Kim. And Lang moves up into second. One lap to go. Liu comfortably in the lead. Move on the inside from Truscott. Moves up into fourth as Kim moves down to fifth. It'll be Lou. Lang Putnam as your top three. Junior D men, event 51, three, three, three meter D final. This is the D final. For the junior D men with Jeremy Sapolo, Ben Clendenin Kim, and Daniel O'Brien. Sapola in the lead. Clendenin Kim in second, O'Brien in third. 232, O'Brien third. One lap to go, Sapola with a comfortable lead over Clandon and Kim. As the field's pretty well spread out, O'Brien back in third. And we'll take a short resurface break. And we'll be back. Last ice cut of Saturday. The remainder of today's finals with the Junior C ladies, Junior C men, Junior B men, and the Masters and Senior combined groups.
Welcome back, folks. This is the Junior Sea Ladies 1,000 meter final. All right, currently don't have the heat card, so I don't have the list of skaters in the event. Well, I believe that's Kayla Gonzalez leading the way. And Skater goes down in the corner. Romanelli in second. Liu sitting in third. Kayla still comfortably in the lead. Romanelli holding on to second. Liu needed to make up a lot of ground to catch her. And one lap to go for Gonzalez. As she rounds the final corner, she'll take the top spot in the Junior C Ladies 1,000 meter final. Comes Romanelli, followed by Liu. And still a couple of skaters left on the track. Uh, next is the Junior C Men's 1,000 meter A final. I got the hit cards now, folks. We got Nicholas Lutovsky, Aaron Liu, Ryan Shane, Andrew Lengkong, and Sean Lippa. The Junior C Men A final underway. Kutowski leading the way. Leo in second. Shane in third. Lang Kong in fourth. And Lippa in fifth. Shane with the move on the inside, goes up into third. Also trying to pass was Leng Kong. He was not able to get through on Liu. Liu going for the inside move, gets by Shane. We're gonna try to get around one more, see what Sklutovsky has left in the tank. And still not the bell lap. That final lap can't come soon enough here. You can almost see the agony in the body language. So 
Gutowski trying to hang on. Leo looking for the outside pass. They go two wide through the corner. Leo able to force it through. One lap to go. Here they go into the final corner, and Liu will finish first. Lutovsky second. Third will be Shane. <laughs> Up next is the B final with Rory O'Brien, Logan Wormel, Eric Song, Paulo Logerfo, Ishan Dixit, and Sammy Shenkut. Looks like Song. Looks like Song might be a scratch. He's a non start in this B final. Magurfo well, leading the way. O'Brien in second. In third is Wormel. O'Brien looking to make the inside pass. He moves up into first. Wormel moves into second, looking to get around O'Brien on the outside. He goes into the lead. Wormel looking comfortable. It's going to be a battle for second here between O'Brien and Logerfo. And Logerfo stumbling through the corner, able to stay on his feet, but falls off the pace of O'Brien. And O'Brien closing the gap down to Wormel. Got one lap to go. O'Brien going for the inside pass. Wormel able to close the door. Here they come to the line. And it'll be Wormel, O'Brien, Aguerfo finishing in third. Dixit will finish in fourth and Shenkut will be crossing the line in fifth. Just four more races on the day. Up next is the Junior B men, 1,000 meter A final. With Noah Tromp, Clyde Gill, Joshua Yang, and Gavin Hall. After that, we'll have the Master Senior combined groups. It's going to be Trapp leading the way out of the first corner with Gill in second. 
Yang in third and Hall in fourth. Gill in good positioning here. It was caught out in the last final. But now he's to sit on Trump the whole way. Tempo slowly lifting as they're dropping skaters off the back. And Trump trying to lift the tempo, trying to unhitch Gill. Gill able to hang around. Gill going to take the wide line, see if he sets something up on the exit of this corner. And one lap to go. Gill with two corners left to work with. Down to one corner. As here they come to the line, and Gill will not get around Tromp, so it'll be Tromp, Gill, Yang Hall for your finishing order. That'll bring up the Master Senior combined with the A final, John Witzkowski, Mary Magnus, Maddie Riesman, and Nicole Zayatz. And the Masters Senior combined a final underway. Wojtkowski in the lead. And Wojtkowski pulling off. Doesn't want to do the work at the front. Zayats moves into the lead. Riesman in second. Wojtkowski moving up into third. Magnus sitting in fourth. And Magnus able to move around into the lead. Wikoski now up into second. Riesman third. Zayats in fourth. Wikoski with some distance to cover to catch Magnus. Coming around to two laps to go. Wikoski running out of real estate to try to reel in Magnus. And one lap to go. Magnus firmly in the lead. As she comes around the final corner, Wikoski will not catch her. They'll finish 1-2. Here comes Riesman. 
fouled by Zayats. That'll bring up the B final with Melissa Koenig, Elizabeth Savoy, and Patrick Nior. Has two more races left on the day, folks. Tomorrow we'll kick things off at 8 a.m. with the final day of racing here in Buffalo. Zavoy leading the way, Canning in second, New York in third. Savoy and Koenig comfortably in first and second away from Nior. Not a whole lot of drama happening in this Masters Seniors B final. We're going to come around to three laps to go, and I think it'll be down to the final lap and a half before Koenig tries to launch anything here. It's been a long day of racing. Still got tomorrow to go. Going to try to save as much in the tank as possible. And there goes Koenig on the inside. With a lap and a half to go, and there's the bell for the final lap, but she gets passed back by Savoy. Koenig trying to turn up the tempo as they come to the finish, but it will not be enough as Savoy will take first. Koenig will finish second. And Nior will finish in third. Final Saturday race coming up. Master 60 plus. And I'll bring up the final race of the day with the Master 60 plus. With Joe Balbo, Karen Verone, and Gerald Savoy. And it looks like Savoy is going to be a scratch in this race.
And they're off as Balbo takes the lead on Savoy. And Balbo not taking this race easy. I think he might be trying to shoot for a new personal best time in his 60 plus. Balbo, first, 247 Savoy, second. It's a great time to try and take advantage of the small field. Don't have to worry about. Lapping skaters when trying to set a new personal best time. You can see the grimace on his face, though. You can tell it hurts. It's not easy. Just three laps to go as the referees egg him on. Balbo, though, keeping roughly the same pace. He's got one lap to go, and... Savoy will not be caught as Balbo crosses the finish line. Savoy on his final lap. And he'll be our last finisher of the day. As we'll be back tomorrow. Racing will start at 8 o'clock. So we'll be up bright and early tomorrow to finish up the Buffalo Short Track Championships. I'm Gordon Seprin here with SpeedyCast. We'll see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Have a good night, everybody.